software in Python to translate DNA to protein sequences using dictionaries. And then I'll compare this software to an easily written software using BioPython that does the same thing. To write the function, we need to write down def for define and the name of the function, which is here, convert to amino acids, open close parentheses, and then colon, press enter. Now we need a variable like this one, user DNA, to ask the users to enter the DNA sequences here. So this is a string input. Now write down a text that say, please enter your DNA sequence below. Well, this backslash notation will tell the user to or direct the user to the next line or the next sentence. Now we need to convert the input from the user. We have a different variable called codon triplets or codon triplet data. And this is equal to open close parentheses, a square bracket. And in between the square brackets, write the name of the variable that the user should enter the DNA sequence into it, which is user DNA. Then another open close bracket, this is square brackets again, start colon start plus three. Then outside the first bracket, write down for start in range, open close parentheses, and then zero, comma len for the length of the user DNA variable. Then outside the parentheses, comma three. This will make a triplet out of the DNA sequence to make codons. Now we need to have a table or a dictionary that can contain keys and values. So this is a dictionary that I've prepared earlier. It contains all of the amino acid codons or coding codons and their corresponding amino acids. So press enter. Now we need two for loops. The first for loop is going through the code and triplet data and the second for loop is nested within the first one and it goes through the dictionary. So it compares every codon in the codon triplet data to the keys within the dictionary. And then if the codon is equal to the key, it will show you the value, which is the amino acid. To make this clear, I've got to show you. So you write down for codon in codon underscore triplet well, you can copy and paste the name of the variable. For codon in the codon triplet data, and then for item in amino acid underscore dictionary, if codon is equal to, well, this is a comparative operator, two equal signs, if codon is equal to item, then print open close parentheses, amino acid dictionary, open close square brackets, and write down item. So we need this as an output. However, we need to show it in a sequence. To do that, we need to write down end equals empty string. Then save this, you go to file, save, and then run it. Press F5 to run this software. And here we need to supply the name of the function that we've written so far. So it's convert to amino acid. Now, when you open the parentheses, it 
tells you that this is a function, close the parentheses, press enter. Now it tells you to enter your DNA sequence below. ATG, let's say, CCC. DGA. So this is a sequence. It tells you O is not defined. So I made something wrong here. Instead of writing zero, I wrote O. Okay. Now let's double check it again. Convert to amino acid. Copy this one. Paste it. Now ATG. Here it creates an output. This is the output from the software. Methionine is the beginning and TGA is the stop codon. So this asterisk means that this is a stop codon. So this is how you create this kind of software from a simple function. This is a simple function or method, you can say so. I on Linux, hold control and shift press D to comment out or hold control and press D to comment a region. So this will comment all of the code that you've written or the code block. Now you can write down the other software to do the same thing. So you write down from bio.seq, the S is capital, import seq module. Now we need to supply information or get information from the user. So we have DNA as a variable, it's equal to the seek object input, or you can say string input, but this is not necessary here. The reason is that the seek object acts as a string. So you write down information, please enter your DNA sequence below. Well, this might be necessary sometimes. However, you can just skip this one if it's for your own sake. Now, print the name of the variable dot translate. Open close parentheses, and that's it. This is the alternative way of doing the same thing. Now, it tells you please enter your DNA sequence below. Let's say ATG, TTT, CGT, GGG, TGA. So this is the same thing as earlier. And it gives you the same output, however, in single letters. The end is an asterisk, which stands for the stop codon, glycine, and then an asterisk. So that's simply how you write down a software to convert DNA sequences to protein sequences in two fashions. The reason that there are lots of different ways of doing it, there are some people who do not like to call libraries because when you create the exe file or software, sometimes it gets difficult to use a freezer like CX Freeze to freeze the software and the libraries. If you write your own methods with your own hands and your own logic, it doesn't need you to call libraries like BioPython. However, writing software with BioPython is a lot easier, right? Like writing it for your own self. So I hope you enjoyed this session. Thank you.